Oh, well, I guess we're not gonna see how the green reacts. Ooh. Or duff it again. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm back out here with Josh for the first time in what six months now um, Hopefully you can see us. I can't even see the screen uh, We're out here at Trenton today Trenton Golf Course in Georgia. It's uh, about 25 degrees with a 35 degree wind We're gonna do a scramble for the first six holes. We're gonna see how low we can go. I'm guessing negative six He's guessing even. How are you feeling today, Josh? Feeling good ready to rock. He was hitting some piss missiles off the tee, off the <laughs> off the uh, the driving range. So we'll see. You know, I was hitting some good shots too. So with that being said, let's get it started. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna go first. I'm just gonna try to put one out there. Uh, I literally feel like my swing is an ice box. So I'm just gonna try to get one out there. That way uh, we can have something to play. <clears throat> just gonna go safe with this one. An easy swing. That'll do right there. Josh is playing a draw. He usually is a, a, a slight fader of the ball, so let's see how it goes for him. Sun's so bright I can't see the camera. Oh, come back. It's up the left side. Oh yeah, it came back. It's good. Uh, yes. So we elected to take my ball. Josh is about 20 to 25 yards ahead, but he's also kind of down low, and we have a good shot into the green from here, so we decided to take this one. We have 180 yards to the pin, and 170, 170 to the front of the green. Just can't snap hook this one into those guys up there. Like that. Go out. Awesome. <laughs> so Josh is going to go with a six here. I, this is my call, so if he doesn't hit it right, it's my fault. But I think an easy six over a seven right now is the play. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, just a little short. It was right up there, front left. That was a good shot. He just took a little off of it. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna put my ball up there so we don't remember, forget where it's at. His is about 10 yards, 15 yards in front of the green. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's gonna play a little 56. He's just gonna try to get it up there and let it release out. We don't know how the greens are gonna react. This is the first green. Oh, well, I guess we're not gonna see how the green reacts. I've got this to try to help us save par here. Uh, about eight feet past, a little, little, little nippy. All right, so yeah, like I said, it ended about eight feet past. Camera needs to focus, there we go. Josh can go first. I forgot my putter, so I'm gonna use his putter. Yep, good idea. Good idea. All right, you can tap that in. Tap that in. We're playing everything since we're doing a scramble. Yep, we got a bogey for sure. It didn't break an inch. That was literally exactly where I aimed. Turn over the bogey on two-man scramble. That is less than ideal. We're gonna make it up for this part three here. We got like a 120 yard part three coming up. This is a perfect gap wedge for me, so I'm thinking we're I'm thinking we'll get a birdie this next hole. Hey guys, we're back here on the par three. It's actually 110 yards, uh, right over the pond. I thought it was 120, but uh, uh, Josh is gonna go first. Um, by the way, I just want to say the you've hopefully all seen the last video with uh, Eric and Christian. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was supposed to be a two on two, and uh, unfortunately we weren't allowed to do that because we had a cancellation right off the bat. But me and Josh are going to schedule something with them. We've already reached back out to them, and we're going to do a two-on-two -two against them here soon. We're just trying to find a date, so hopefully we can get that started pretty soon. 
That looks money. Oh my god, that may be four feet. Nice shot. Shorter than it looks. I think it's shorter than the hole, but it's right at it. Worked out. Perfect. Good shot. I pulled it. It was I think it was long anyway. It's got Josh's ball actually spun back about 25 feet. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, my ball is literally pin high just right off the green. Uh, leave a comment down below if you think we should just, as a scramble, we should meet our balls in the middle. You know, his distance, my, or my distance, his accuracy. I think that's how it's supposed to work. Now that was slower than we thought. Yeah, it was. Thank you. See these right here, if you just get kind of get up and just don't even think about it and just hit it in and then just walk it in when you do it. Like there's just, oh Ooh. God. I'll type this one in. That was a gimme. No, there's no gimme to this. Good putt. There we go. Good job, Josh. How do you miss that? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think my putt was a good putt. I just, it was I, not a good putt. I, it, was, it was a good, I mean, if you think about it, it was a good putt. <laughs> that was like eight, 10 feet. I mean, oh it barely lipped out. I'm gonna do kind of the same thing as last hole. I'm gonna choke down a little bit and just hit an easy one out there. Josh seems to be hitting his driver pretty good today, so I'm just gonna let him do his thing. <clears throat> right down the center of the fairway. Give it a rip, Josh. Oh, that's good. Come here. It's right up there. Fairway, but never got really off the ground to give it a chance to go anywhere, but... It'll be closer than mine, so we're good. Yeah. Like that. Off the right side of the green. Right over that little hump right there. I got some work to do. <laughs> do a knockdown 52. Is this gonna come out like a 56? It's gonna probably come out a little higher than it should. A little long. I'd say probably 15. Yeah, it'll probably be probably about 15 feet. Walking up to the green, Josh was short and to the right. Mine is about 20 feet. God. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Good putt. Tap that in. Good putt. I hit the ground but for the ball. So you just don't think about these, you just knock them in. Just like that. Brad. Josh's been talking that smack on the, between the holes. He's about to see. Wind's in my face though, so I gotta be careful. If it gets spinny, it won't go anywhere. It went right. Josh is, Josh is gonna try to get past my ball. He hit it into the other fairway. It, it may have been, oh, nope, it's dropping straight down. Yep, came down here, we found my ball. Um, because this isn't like a nice PGA course, this is like, we found it right in here, there was gravel, so we did a line of entry, we just came straight back. We got up uh, <coughs> on the cart path, we took a drop, it went right beside the cart path, so we took a relief over the club length, and we dropped it right there, and we should be good. So that's kind of what happened. So we just, we did straight line back, took relief, dropped the ball, ended up right there. Well, I just bladed it. It's gone. Just broke my fingers. Ow. 
Good shot. Oh, that's coming back too. That may be on the edge of the green. Nope, just short. Right there. Ooh. Or duff it again. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got some work to do. Blow the hole again. I would say I'm gonna go for the hole, but. Get a bad drive, get a bad second. Right here. This is gonna come out pretty high, so I'm gonna have to get it there. Great. Oh, it checked hard. Yes, sir. You can't make that stuff, I can't. <laughs> Left us about six feet for, seven feet for par here. That's seven feet I'm three foot tall. Lay down, lay down beside it. <laughs> uh, it's about seven feet, maybe seven and a half. He's gonna hit that leaf. He pulled it, but it literally was starting to break, just like I thought. You still ain't over there. This is not easy putt, you putt. Okay. So this is all I have to say about this tee box. It is literally one of the tightest holes. 505 yards uphill. We do have the wind behind us this time though, but the trees are blocking it out, so. When it gets above those trees, it's gonna probably carry more, but man, this is literally like, this is rough. All right, so not feeling comfortable at the, over this shot at all, just not. I'm either gonna snap hook this one or, or fade it into the tree somehow. I really fully expect Josh to have to hit the tee shot to keep us in play on this one. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it didn't come back out either, did it? Nope. I mean, I... I called the shot. You didn't. You didn't even snap hook. You just never had a chance to do anything. It should be fine. It got around. Yeah, it should be fine. You hit me in the chest with the T. You hit me in the chest with the T. I'm gonna just go right at that same tree that he aimed at and just hope it comes back like it usually does. Or we're going to the woods. I'm not gonna lie, I almost hit that off the hosel. Like, it was right there. Yeah, and I locked the club face down. Two hits, two lost balls in this hole. Yep. Josh is gonna go for a layup now because, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I always take a divot on your back track to swing. Oh, I faded one. Right up there, great shot, perfect. Good job. Jake says some work today. He is 0 for 2 on this hole. He's hey. 2 for 2 for lost balls though. Hey, I can find this ball. Hang on. It actually has a chance because it didn't hit anything solid. It could be through it. It's pretty fun. Not like that. We got 95. Jesus. That might be inside of the green. It landed going 150 miles an hour. Oh. Yep, I opened, I got off balance in the swing. That might be pretty good. Oh, it checked. Yep. Yeah, he, he came out a little high on him. Yeah, here we go again. I barely hit that. <laughs> I barely hit it. Oh. There's a ridge right here. I did push it a little bit, but this ridge right here kept it from even going up there.
pushed it through it. Yeah. I didn't want to leave it short. That's a, that's a testy one too. <laughs> Water down there, 285 over, I believe is what it said. So, if JCS went went out there, I'm just going to hit the target with the maybe. Get my rotator cuff or something. Good. Yeah, just easy swing, try to get out there for him. Yeah. After my last hole where I snapped it into the woods, I was just trying to put it out there for him. If he hits it over, that'll be the one. He got over. He got over. So we ended up, we could not find Josh's ball. So we're gonna do, we're gonna hit mine. We're 170 to the front, 180 to the pin. It's, yeah, it's gonna come out like a six. Oh, he just pushed it. It ain't ever gonna come back. It'll be fine though. Oh wow, that is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, this is where legends are made. Hitting a hitting a five iron on a slope. Nice it's gonna roll shot. through. That's fine though. Yep, I'll take it. Ooh. Didn't make it there. Oh, I was gonna roll yeah, if he just carried on the green, it'd have been down there, but oh well. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't chip those. I putted it. I can't. Slow down, slow down. Okay, we, yeah. yeah. That broke more than I thought. All right, well, we finished with a bogey, so that made us five over for six holes for a two-man scramble. I did say six. Yeah, I'm thinking with it warming up, we're gonna start being able to score a little better here. Um, I mean, we didn't hit horrible shots. It's just hard to score when you're when you're just cold and the wind's blowing this hard. It's you hard know, to score when you suck. We only really had one bad hole, which was that par five. Uh, yeah, we just we just only had two good holes. Yeah, that was a problem. problem. We just had, just had a bunch of meh. Yeah, that's kind of our golf though. Is meh. That's why you yeah. follow the channel. Yeah. That's why you enjoy it so much because we're meh, but we we're, we're relatable. You know, we're we we plan to challenge good good golf here pretty soon and. Uh, take the take the mantle from them